The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. differently because once you gaze into the relentless darkness all that lurks within it can see you too
passing into another world that looks the same but feels different than a lost world where the forest itself is watching. Another game. Another game. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. You have to open up. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen. listen. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven.
winter before the tragedy. She journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off berries, roots and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gelt. Some like truth become gelt in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the Perjikas. Those who make it back are forever changed. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can, she can get up. It must be magic. Dog cool. magic. A trick. Val Raven. Tricking her. Val Raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. Val Raven's magic. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Oh, <laughs> 
The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness. But she thought work. she thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her.
Open it. The ravens. The ravens. They've the gone. Ravens have gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. And Val why? Raven's helping. He's not helping. It's true. Quiet. Quiet. Out in the wild. In cold winter woods. Where? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become part of her.
she did it. The ravens. They've all gone. No. There's still three. three. There's three. three. There's three. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? She did it. What does it mean? Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. The gate is open! Open! There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill them. Yet, it will gnaw at her, biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian? Before her time comes. Overcome Valravan's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. 
What was Finden burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Finden never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. It's open! It's open! This darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. Fear deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. But there, in the darkness, Senua, and she remembered what he told her. Hear me, reach out to me, Senua. Take my iron mirror, look into it for it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 the wilds. You trapped me there. No, he's not. 
You're close. to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming.
she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And then she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. Caves. the mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate. Open no, the gate. Don't. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done it. It's so dark. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross into hell. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Sword still beats her heart. You've 
fought for love unspoiled by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. left. 